Hi there, everybody. My name is Kate, and welcome to my channel, Trinity Awakens. Naturally, behind me, you see a portion of, hopefully it doesn't make you sick, as we take a little, sort of a 360-ish. <laughs> this is Garden of the Gods in Colorado Springs, Colorado. Um, one of my most favorite places to go. I haunt this place pretty often. It's about a thousand degrees out, and yeah, but it's a dry heat. <laughs> Um, this is a very good place where I can unravel some stuff and I get great downloads from spirit. You know, um, spirit speaks to me a whole lot when I'm here. There's a lot of indigenous wisdom here. Uh, so let's talk about what I was just coming across as I was um, at a different part of the park and just kind of digesting it. So I'm going to throw it out here for consideration, for your consideration. A little nugget <laughs> that the idea of shame. Shame is a, a huge reason <laughs> that people don't do um, anything or certain things with their life. They don't do anything that they want to be doing or they do a lot of stuff that they think they should be doing. It's based in that shame monkey thing, the shame component. Um, I'm going to say for myself always, however, you know, <laughs> there's somebody out there I'm sure that would argue with me. However, I'm going to stand by my own conviction with me that anything that I ever thought I should be doing or that I shouldn't be doing or anything like that or couldn't possibly begin doing was based in a shame thing which affects self-esteem and our self-worth and all that other stuff that, you know, it's it's built when we we're children. We're told we're not worthy. We're told we don't deserve whatever it is, whatever level of that that we got, you know, the more we struggle with it. And some people overcompensate and they become highly successful. Look around the world at our, you know, at politics, look at Hollywood, look at, you know, Fortune 500, doctors, lawyers, etc. I'd say that, you know, at least some <laughs> portion of them are driven by being overly successful. And then you've got the other side of it that are just not, you know, high performers, etc. And it's all based in my opinion, at least in my life, definitely was based on the self-worth and, and the self-esteem and my self-image, which was very highly polluted with shame. You're not worthy. Um, children are taught to be neither seen nor heard in the household that I grew up in. And there was a lot of other input besides that, um, that we don't tolerate you as an individual. We don't care what age you are. You know, we don't like you, period. Um, and we barely tolerate you because you're here and we have to. You know, those are pretty severe messages to hear and to take in early and then just keep on um, assuming that and assuming that and it's very difficult to ungank that later and believe that there is somebody in fact that will care for me that loves me and then we're going to extend that into some god presence of what you know that i'm not worthy and if i don't already know inside of me or it's been tampered with and very polluted and highly managed and manipulated to falsely believe stuff about myself and that I don't deserve, etc. It's going to be really hard um, to connect with a God source or universal intelligence or Jesus or any other um, religious icon or spiritual deity of some kind that would tell us that we are worthy, that we are deserving, that we are entitled to a rich, abundant life. You know, if we're starving or we've been traumatized or we've been, you know, neglected, etc. It's going to be a little bit difficult to get over that. And so for me, I look at Everything that comes from a lack of faith in ourselves is already a lack of faith with understanding that core of us, our little God presence in us, our universal intelligence, whatever we call that, our soul, that we're not seeing our own soul as being pure. We have a disconnection from that source and that's going to build everything on a false premise from there, in my humble opinion, that the shame thing will get in the way of having a whole lot of faith. Um, or it gets into the overcompensation and we can turn narcissistic. It can go a lot of different imbalanced way in a very imbalanced way as in not balanced to that we look at it uh, either as a lack or it, we're overly confident, but it's because we're, we're not in here with it, fully understanding that I am pure source energy and I'm entitled to a rich and abundant life. I'm entitled to live my life in joy and to be expressing myself as a human being from that space. If we've been disconnected from that space, then how can we have faith in that? We don't know. We have faith out here in people. We have faith out here in situations where we're expecting other people to be less fallible than we are or expecting them to be you know, like parents and stuff, we assume that they know what they're talking about because they're our parents, they're the adults. And as children, you build those ideas and assumptions that the adults in your world know what they're doing. They understand what they're doing and they're working for your benefit. And it can be really confusing to understand that, no, that is not in fact true, that there's many, most adults have no idea what they're doing um, in their own world because the people that raised them didn't know any better than them. And so this lack of faith within ourselves, within our parents, etc., is based on the fact that we're asking things that have 
have quite a high degree of fallibility to be 100% you know true and honest righteous etc and we're not human beings are not situations on the earth are not it's the 3d world and there are errors everywhere and there's errors in judgment there's absolute you know intention to cause harm there's all kinds of things that happen and so when we get t plugged in deep to understanding that nah we can't look out here if we're wanting to have faith we need to begin with the faith inside of us that what am I having faith in because disbelief and you know not not believing that something can happen or that something will happen not believing in miracles not believing I'll get that job not believing I deserve to have that you know corporation or whatever it is that we're after or that relationship believing that we don't deserve that or it can't happen or being very pessimistic that's a lack of faith and lack of faith how do we build that when it's already been destroyed well it's a matter of having to go in and you know look at the debris field of whatever that is that clutters and gets in the way of knowing that we're pure source energy I don't care what you call it we all come from the same cosmic soup <laughs> that no matter how we arrived here no matter what star system we may come from no matter what lifetime we're on <laughs> no matter whether we believe any of that or not we are all fundamentally core energy from the universe and so that's a pure field and so the way that we get in touch with that is we have to start rolling back and looking back into what are the ideas what are those beliefs what are those paradigms that I have been taught that I believe about myself that says that I'm not worthy of that that I don't have faith you know that I can have that or that I deserve that or that no that couldn't possibly happen to me other people that's other people's dream that's other people's possibility why do I have a, a lack of faith and if I have a lack of faith in God you know my atheists and my agnostics and stuff actually my atheists not the agnostics the atheists are the ones that you know okay you don't have to believe in a God presence but do you believe you have a soul and I used to know somebody that um, no when you die you just go into the dirt like okay well you know that's a very different understanding and we don't really have a common platform that we, we can really go anywhere with that unfortunately that I've found is that the faith in that this 3d world is all we get and this is it then how would we have people who are living in joy and living abundantly and just living and I don't mean just financially I mean they're living very well and enjoying their lives and actually passionate about so many things and they're driven you know to live with zeal and enthusiasm how do we have some people that have that and other that don't so if they have some kind of a soul or some kind of a resonance inside of them why don't you have that you know you can have that that's where I run into you know interesting conversations that don't usually last very long with people that don't already believe that you know we're not different from one another in terms of our basic structure of the universe how we work with all of that energy how we move all of that energy how we understand our soul and what we understand our soul purpose to be if we even believe we have one if we aren't willing to look inside at any of that that's a whole lot of you know faith um, 808 faith issues that really could be helped with just basic introspection to you know grow faith in something because if you don't want to be victimized by the world then it comes with having a better um, understanding of ourselves and our self-esteem at least at a minimum to be able to say I deserve to be treated well I deserve to you know not be victimized by the world I deserve to you know not be bullied I deserve to not be a bullier if I feel that level of fear what do I have faith in I have faith in that I'm the only one that's going to take care of me and I've got to reach out and touch the rest of my world very you know negatively and manipulatively if I want to make sure and guarantee and the problem with that is that there's no guarantee so we're just playing a game with ourselves and the matrix and losing you know what the odds are of when and how we lose you know that's each individual person's um, journey to figure out however I didn't like playing the you know the hunger games that may the odds be ever in my favor well how am I gonna do that well I'm gonna have faith in the fact that it doesn't matter what my odds are if I get thrown into the hunger games then I'm gonna have everything I need right here because that connection is so solid that yeah I might fall I might get my ass kicked and I might you know be embarrassed or whatever for a few minutes however I'm gonna go in and do what I need to do to you know make stuff happen and period that's all there is to it there is no you know doubt about myself if I have to worry that the odds would be in my favor oh no you know do I want to be thrown into some Hunger Games thing no however what I can manage in my life I manage and then the rest of it I leave that up to my faith and my understanding of my connection with God and God source energy to allow me 
me to breathe through whatever comes up and deal with whatever comes up and not have to deal with that stuff too much anymore by having a greater faith in what I'm really here for, which is not to do battle in the matrix, which is just a game that we're playing with ourselves and trying to figure out what do I truly believe in? Do I believe that it's based in my my sister, my brother, my mother, my father, my job, you know, my title? Do I believe that it's, it's based in that? And if I do, wow, then the odds really will never be in our favor if that's really what I'm going to believe because we have too much evidence that people will disappoint us. We are only human beings and we put a lot of pressure on one another, another to never disappoint us. Don't ever do this. Don't ever do that. And you know, <laughs> we d disappoint people all the time. They disappoint us and then we hold grudges and here we are with that game again of what are we willing to believe in? That there's a reason that it's here. It's a really, there's a reason that I'm here. And if it's based in fear, then I need to get in here and figure out how do I grow my faith in what I'm really here for and what I'm here to do. And if we're not willing to ask that question, then Mm, may the odds be ever in your favor. So, Hondo's taken, my dog has taken a nice break. He's gotten a few minutes to rest and relax and get some water. And so it's time to move it on. I have another two miles to go so, <laughs> before it turns into 100 degrees. So it's a dry heat though. So take care of yourselves and enjoy your day and get within your skin because you're divine. It is so, so perfect, infallible and can guide you through those sticky, messy, you know, human gangly situations just fine. However, you have to believe that you're worthy of that and you have to believe that you have that and you do. In case you need that reminder, you do let me promise you so take care of yourself as i said and enjoy your day get within your skin because you're divine it is so 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 beautiful so magical and so so fine take care of yourselves and i will see you again next time mm. goodbye my beautiful friends